Welcome students. Today we will study a poem from 10th class English book, First Flight. Fire and Ice, written by Robert Frost. Students, before we start the poem, let's discover a few important facts about the poet. Robert Lee Frost, an American poet and playwright born on March 26, 1874 in San Francisco, California. Fire and Ice is one of the popular short poems written by Frost. He won Pulitzer Prize four times for his poetry. He won Congressional Gold Medal for his poetic works in 1960. Frost was nominated for the Nobel Prize in Literature 31 times. In 1894, he wrote his first poem, My Butterfly. Stopping my boots on a snowy evening, mending walls, nothing gold can stay, dust of snow, the death of the hired man, acquainted with the night and botches are popular poems written by Frost. On July 22, 1961, Frost was named Poet Laureate of Vermont. He died of complications from prostate surgery in Boston on January 29, 1963. Let's have an introduction to the poem. The short poem outlines the familiar question about the fate of the world, wondering if it is more likely to be destroyed by fire or ice. People are on both sides of the debate. Fire here stands for desire, greed, avarice, or lust. Ice here stands for hatred, coldness, and rigidity. Theme of the poem. Fire and Ice, uh, a poem of only nine short lines, is based on the theme of destruction, about the inevitable demise that hatred, greed, and obsession will bring. In short, this poem is based on age-old question. The question is whether the world will end in fire or in ice. Let's enjoy the poem. Fire and Ice Some say the world will end in fire. Some say in eyes. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate. To say that for destruction eyes is also great and would suffice. Some say the world will end in fire. Some say in eyes. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. Students here, important words, fire. Here fire stands for human desire and greed. And another word, eyes. The word eyes here stands for hatred and rigidity. The point here shows two notions about end of this world. End of life on earth. One group of people says that the world will end in fire. Fire of human greed, lust and avarice. The more you try to satisfy them, the more they glow. There is no end to it. They spread rapidly like fire and engulf your whole life. Here the poet says that never-ending human desire and greed will be a reason of destruction of life on the world. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate. To say that for destruction eyes is also great and would suffice. Students here, perish means destruction or destroying something. Enough means sufficient, adequate. Again, sufficient means enough and adequate. In these lines, the poet favors the second notion about destruction of world. The poet strongly agreed with the first notion, but he does not deny the second set of beliefs as well. Poet says, if this world has to be destroyed twice, ice will be the reason. Means, human feeling of hatred for one another is enough to destroy it. Ice here is being compared to hatred. Students' literary devices here, symbolism. Fire symbolizes human desire, whereas ice stands for hatred. Alliteration, repetition of a consonant sound. 
some say the world will end in fire repeating sound of s and w assonance repetition of vowel sounds in the same line for example the long sound of o in i hold with those who favor fire anaphora the repetition of word or expression at the starting of two or more consecutive lines for example some say is repeated at the starting of line 1 and line 2 and jabment and jabment means continuation from one line to another line without any punctuation mark such as from what i have tasted of desire i hold with those who favor fire here you can see there is no punctuation mark at the end of first line students rhyming scheme of the poetry is a b a a b c b c p dear students i hope you have understood the poem please do listen the and watch uh, this video again and again try to make your own notes on the basis of given information in the video and try to write down its detailed summary so good luck and thank you very much welcome student